Hello everybody, it's your man Keswick's back. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on EverQuest and the way I like to set up my UI or user interface. Uh, I've been playing EverQuest since it first came out in 1999 and I like to come back to this game every so often. It's just kind of my primary game. Um, in case you're wondering, EverQuest, although the name EverQuest uh, indicates you'll be doing a lot of questing, you can do some questing, but it this is a more grind-centric game. So if you, if you like the uh, the grind, you, you just get into a place and just just mow down enemy after enemy after enemy to to, to move yourself forward. Uh, that's this is the kind of game for you. But anyway, so I just started a brand new character, uh, so you can kind of see this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll start off in uh, a place called the Mines of Glooming Deep. When you play games, uh, this game now, uh, all characters. Uh, regardless of whether you're a quote-unquote good race or a bad race or neutral race, whatever, you all start here uh, before you have a chance to leave out and get into the wider world. So um, anyway, so the first thing we need to do, uh, and I'm going to do a couple things before we get into the actual UI because you'll see how this um, some things go away. Um, so it tells us right now, movement tips, WASD, use the mouse wheel, scroll, um, things of that nature. So anyway, I'm going to target this fella here. So I'm going to say go and close this. Said okay. I'm okay when I'm ready to continue. I'm going to hit H for hail. Some dialogue comes up down here in the main chat. I can click on the blue uh, wording and that'll forward me down the dialogue. Say yes, I want to escape. This is fine. Uh, you need to go find the jailer and knock him in the head. Uh, and take a key from him. So there's the jailer. Uh, here is my combat bar. It just popped up, and we'll talk about this here in a minute. I'm going to run over here and start fighting with this guy here. I'll take care of him. Good. Good key. Turn around, give it to this big, tall barbarian. And we level up. OK, and then he will transport us out of the actual jail cells and into a beginning area. There we go. All right, now for setting up, OK, now for setting up UI, or, or the way I set my user interface up. Uh, so up here, I have my inventory. Um, <clears throat> it, Right now it is covering another another uh, uh, box. This box here can't be moved. Uh, you can get to some other settings and move if you wanted to. But I normally just take my inventory and I move it up to this corner. I like, I, one of the reasons I like to keep my inventory up is because it also allows me to see my uh, uh, experience bar as I'm moving around and doing things. So, um, so you start off there. Uh, then you come down here to this, see this big box right here? This is your targeting box. So if I say, click on Arius, then he fills in there. Um, this tells me how many hit points he has. Underneath here, if he has particular spell effects of some kind on him, they'll show up here um, and give me an idea of what I'm, what I'm, you know, if I'm fighting someone who's got spell effects, what spell effects they have on them. Okay, I like to put my target up here, and then you'll see this other little box says targets target. I like to put that there. Okay, so if I were actually fighting with Arius, um, my name would show up here. Okay, so enemy's name, enemy's focus. If I'm part of a group and there's three of us and the other person is gaining more aggro, aggro as we call it, um, aggression, and he's focused on hitting that person, that person's name will show up here rather than my name. So that's what that is for. Uh, here is the window selector, um, and you've got various windows, uh, some of which you can open, like the options, or shut them down. There's also a compass up here, so you know which way you're facing in the world. Uh, over here to the right, there's a box for songs, so if you're playing with a bard, uh, the, the song effects will show up here, and you can figure out what, what's going on with the song effects on you. This other box is other effects, so... Uh, a, a, a priest class or a mage class casting some sort of effect on you to, to boost your abilities, your stamina, your hit points, whatever. Uh, that'll all show up here. 
this box shows up and it just kind of shows general game content uh, for example this one shows me that I can go talk to Franklin Teak to find out about the latest hot zones or those are zones in the world that give boosted experience uh, for a short period of time so I can do that if I wanted to um, this box here uh, this orangey um, portion is the Daybreak Games um, cash shop basically uh, for your free to play players uh, if you want to buy if you're playing free but you, you want to spend some actual real world money on buying, buying uh, Daybreak uh, points or whatever they call them to buy special things in games you can't get without doing that that's where you go to do that the one right below here um, this is actually a nice menu to have uh, you can learn a lot about how the world works, how the game works by just taking some time and clicking on each of these and, and they'll tell you a whole lot. It's a good thing to have. So I don't normally make this go away, but I will put it way up here out of the way. So it's not in my, in my view. This next box, this is me, okay, Ivy. Um, and it tells me, uh, you know, what my hit points look like, my uh, mana, and my stamina. Now, this is a druid character, uh, so I'm not going to have much, and I'm not, I'm not really going to be doing a lot of physical, I mean, I'll do some physical fighting, but I will spend, usually use spells to, to fight with more so than, you know, swinging my sword arm. So the stamina box, I don't need to worry about too much, but this, is t this tells me about me, um, my basics. This box here is my group. I normally will put this over on top, so if I'm, if I uh, hire a mercenary, his information will go up here. If I part, partner up with some people in game, their information will fall in here. I can adjust the size. Come down here to the bottom here, and I can left click and hold and adjust the size of that if I want, both uh, up and down and left and right. Um, if I need to, if uh, you know something of that nature. So um, I'm not going to really adjust it too much I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit because I, I do I mean I'll get a mercenary but then later on and I might pair up with some some friends or whatever um, <clears throat> so let's see here a couple of the things okay right here um, yeah 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 go, go away. actions uh, this uh, actions uh, let's see I'm trying to remember which one it is it's one of these up here um, there it is, first one. Uh, I can click on this up there, here at the top on the window selector. I can click on that and make it go away. Click on it and make it come back. I like to keep it up, but I normally will put it way over here on this side. Um, there's a quest journal. I usually will pull this down. I don't normally keep this up. I usually close it down. And it coincides with this. Um, it looks like an oval. It's really supposed to, it's supposed to be a, um, like a, 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 a chat bubble. Uh, like you might find in comic books or whatever so I click on that it goes away click on it comes back uh, it's useful um, even though EverQuest is not really strong on this this is not a strong part of the game never have, really has been uh, like a lot of other games you know um, we'll have an explanation point or question mark or request givers and in, in EverQuest you just have to go talk to every NPC and see what they have to say um, and then following through with quests um, this isn't well populated for the most part so I don't want to make it go away. This next one, extended targets. Now this is the other targets that I'm fighting, of course. My target here is Arius. If I were to actually start fighting him, his information would pop in right here. Uh, if I happen to group target a, a, an enemy that's paired with two or three others, all three of them will show up here. Um, and then I can see who it actually is trying to I'm fight, fighting with. Um, this is my spell gem bar, and because I'm a caster, I get spells, and then I can fill, this used to be called spell gems, okay, in the original, original EverQuest, so, uh, these are my spell gems, or my hot buttons for spells, whatever, uh, which is separate from my, my activities bar, but if you notice, I'm gonna pull this over here, because I'm gonna put this over here in a little bit, uh, Items number three and items number four uh, are actually coinciding with the first two of these spells in this list. Okay, uh, now I can I can move those off that bar and put something else in there if I like, um, or I can keep them there. I probably will move these because 
to me that this is what I call my combat bar. Um, so I don't necessarily need protective spells like uh, skin like wood or um, minor healing on my combat bar quite so much. Uh, at least certainly not skin like wood because that's one of the ones you cast and then you leave it alone for 30 minute travel on the spell last so you don't really need that. So all I gotta do is, is uh, right click on it and it opens that up. So. Um, you have over here on the left, you have a few more bars. Now, what I normally, you, you get four. I mean, you can make more if you need, but what I normally do is I'll take these two and I'll put them way up here at the top out of the way. And I'll save these bars for either later in game or for putting uh, abilities in that I don't need in the middle of combat. Because when I'm in combat, my eyes are watching this area up through about here for the most part um, when I'm keeping an eye on, on what's happening in combat um, so I, I don't I don't need them up here these are for things like if I'm if I'm doing crafting then I'll put crafting abilities up here and it's out of the way lastly the, um, this main chat box here now you'll see it's got two tabs right you can separate these out because this is titled main chat you cannot separate the main chat tab out of this box but the combat tab, if you come over here, pull it up in front, and then right click on it, you'll get a listing of what you can do. One of the things is detach tab. Again, if you try that on the main chat, the detach tab is grayed out. You can't activate it, right? Because it's, it's part of this, this whole box right here. So I'm gonna pull the combat tab to the front, right click on it, click on detach tab, and now it's made its own box. Now, I do things a little funny. I put my combat information over here. And this is where I he see information about how many, how much damage I'm causing, how many points of damage I cause, how many points of damage I receive, spell effects, things of that nature. But I put my combat hotbar over here on the right. Uh, for whatever reason, it's just what I've developed over the years. Uh, people can do all sorts of different things. Uh, but anyway, I put my secondary abilities bar over top of it, and I take my main chat, and I put it over here, and then I bring this down right on top of it. Now, let's look at this uh, this spell bar here, okay? Every time you see a four-way arrow, that means you can then left-click and then move the box wherever, okay? If you only see one or two ways, that's telling me I can expand it that direction, so I can expand it and make a square. What I like to do is expand it sideways... And then I'll bring it down. Oh, no, wait, here we, here we go. Then I'll bring it down over my combat bar. That way, the majority of my uh, my my using combat abilities is all kind of here on the right lower corner. Now, this is the general setup that I do for my for my UI. Um, a couple of other things will pop in once I get a mercenary. I'll have a box with his information or her information, and I'll keep it over here near my actions. That's just what I do. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. But this is kind of how I set it up. And the reason I set it up this way is I have from left to right almost a full screen uh, of, of vision. Plus, I don't want anything here in the bottom because if I'm a, playing a barbarian character or a troll or an ogre or something taller like a Vashir uh, rather than, say, this is a wood elf character. But if I'm playing a taller character, I might have to be right here to be within striking distance of an enemy. Well, if I'm that close to, say, an enemy that happens to be, say, a, 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 for example, a gnome, and I have to be this close to do it, and I'm taller, I won't even see the enemy. Not without have purposely looking down, which can be a kind of a problem. Uh, so if I keep this area here uh, free of any of these things, that helps me, it gives me more option to be able to look down. Um, as well as, as, as seeing up. So that's why I like to keep it that way. Uh, that's just what's worked for me. So anyway, um, again, I just, like I said, I want to make a quick thing about how I set up my UI and, and things you can do. Again, you can expand or, or, or shrink the size of these boxes. You can move them all over the place on the screen. Uh, if you don't want a particular box, uh, you can make it go away for like uh, my inventory. I like to keep mine up. Uh, but you can make it uh, you can kind of set it up fairly however you want, but this is how I set it up I uh, thought you guys might be interested. So anyway um, 
I'll, I'll make another video later on just showing you the beginning play here um, but right now this is just for UI so anyway hope you guys uh, enjoyed that um, and uh, have fun playing with your EverQuest you guys have a good one. bye